Right. I don't want to owe you money. And then suddenly like, that's a danger. I don't want you owing me money. Then like, that's another problem in itself. Right. And they were pretty chill about that. I, I didn't, okay. I didn't feel like it was going to be a big thing. It, it was mostly feelings. just they weren't. Everybody. Nah, I, every, there were a lot of people with good sense of humor. Like, okay. like some guy got his towel stolen one day, his towel, his, his bath towel. And you, you're assigned, I think three brown bath towels. They're garbage. They, they, they remind me of the kind of chamois that you'd like dry your car off with. Uh, and, uh, like, like very, not very absorbent, it's real rough too. and it, yeah, pretty small. And, uh, if you like got them soaking wet and like rang them out, brown liquid would come out because oh. they were like, dyed brown and, uh, <laughs> it was pretty gross. So, and I always thought like, I bet I'm just like rubbing a little bit of that brown dye on me every time I dry off. I'm never actually going to be clean while I'm in here. And, uh, but you could buy your own towel, uh, from the commissary and it was a, it was an okay towel. And uh, it was, I think it was sort of a cream color and it was better. I don't remember what they cost. I didn't bother to buy one, but this guy's towel got stolen one morning and he starts screaming. God damn it, y'all. Who gonna steal my towel? <laughs> my motherfucking towel was hung up right motherfucking here. I hope you know I've been drying my balls with that towel. <laughs> I've been wiping my asshole with that towel. And now you're going to wipe your face with it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, uh. Like, like, and he goes on like this forever. And everybody's screaming at him, ain't nobody going to bring your towel back. Just let it go. <laughs> let it go. They ain't bringing it back. Not that, not now that you done made a big deal. He's like, I ain't making a big deal. Maybe you accidentally grabbed my towel. I hold no ill will toward you, towel man. <laughs> please, please bring me my towel. And I'm like, God damn, I don't even, if I, you want one of mine? Like, 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 get the fuck, like, like he wanted it so bad. And then like 10 minutes later, he goes, excuse me, everyone. Um, a little embarrassing. I found the towel. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry about all that. <laughs> That's pretty cool of him, though. Did people laugh? Like, how did it go? Yeah, over, everybody's man? laughing their asses off of him. Yeah, yeah. He was all right. He was in my drug class. He sold crack on the outside. Hmm, entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was working on it. Right? Yeah, nice guy. Nice guy. He had gold teeth. Yeah, it was it was it was a, he was a successful fella. crack dealer. He had a good sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, lost, he really did. Lost over you lost over something else. The uh, the currency you said that you use yeah, in jail. You said what? it was fish. What yeah, was mackerel, it? mackerel fillets in a tear off pouch. Like uh, you can buy Starkist tuna in those pouches. Is it like uh, I don't know this pouch? I'm picturing like an Altoids tin. Am I? Close? No, no, it's it's a it's a a, a metallic pouch that yeah. it's it's got a gusseted bottom so it'll stand up and then the top just like a big Capri Sun. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of like that. If you just Google like tuna pouch, like you'll see it. Like it's okay. so why, like why did you use those as currency? Uh, I I think I don't know, but my best guess is that they were one of the more affordable items. They were seventy cents a pouch, and it's one of the fewer meat items that was on the commissary list. And it just seemed like I don't know that that's how people did it. You know, they were like, ah, I'll do this for three max. Ah, I won't, how many max you got? You know, it was okay. always about how many max you had. And I didn't even, and I was just like, I don't, I don't have any Macs because they're fucking disgusting. And I don't want any either. <laughs> yeah. I don't want any. Like, like I, I, I ate mackerel one time when I was there accidentally. Uh, my friend made me this uh, bowl of food. It was like mashed potatoes, rice, and meat with like vegetables in it, like, like peppers and onions. And I'm eating it. And I'm think, I thought it was chicken. And I'm like, when was the last time we had chicken? Four days ago? <laughs> I mean, he's eating it. I He knows best, I, yeah. I guess. Especially oh, got I, scales on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's all this bl black connective tissue? I guess that's the bad part of the chicken, but I mean, who am I to... There can't be choosers, you know? And I, I'm like, I eat like three bites of it, and my, my next-door neighbor goes, you eating tuna? And I'm like, no. I'm eating mackerel. <laughs> and I just mackerel is so it. cheap and shitty. It is. It's really. It's actually really cheap. My girlfriend has those pouches. They're the starkest pouches that you can you can just get those and eat them. But it, I I would assume it's probably a more generic version of those in prison. Absolutely. I wanted yeah. the chili that we had in there. It's called, it's Brushy Creek brand chili in a pouch. I mm -hmm. fa I I loved it. It was fucking delicious, and I I want to eat it on the outside now. It was so goddamn good. Oh wow. It was like nine dollars a bag to like, to like order some or something stupid uh, i think i found it for four dollars a bag but you had to buy a bunch of it too and i'm thinking like it was 240 in prison it was two four it was two dollars and 40 cents in prison how are you gonna charge me four dollars a year it's 440 on this website i was gonna ask that kyle like, so 
commissary prices. Let me let me back up a step. Prison income is very low. You guys are working mm-hmm. sometimes, not you, but the guys are working for less than a dollar an hour, I think. Eight cents to 20 cents an hour, somewhere in there, depending on the job. So the prices Ooh. in commissary, did they scale down at all or would you find? Up. Up. Yeah. Things are so more expensive than they were in the grocery store. could be like 30 hours of work or more. I wish I had a commissary list. Um, uh-huh. I should have brought one because I didn't consider the prices. You may be able to look it up online, but... I didn't really care because, like, you know, I'm gonna spend what I'm gonna spend. If I if I need toothpaste, well, you know, spare no expense. You got. I want to see my yeah commissary money. Make it rain. Yeah, I, I'm like you at the fucking movie theater. I'm just fucking Ike and Mike's, <laughs> fucking Reese's Pieces. Let's fucking go, baby. Yeah, I want the large cherry coke. Uh huh. So so you know, it, like like I remember I had this Saint Ives like face moisturizer, and it was like eleven dollars for this jar of it, like that big. I was. Were you gonna and, not face moisturize? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you gotta look your best. You gotta look I got a gay neighbor who, who I'm trying to impress. You know, like, and nobody would like, like, think twice about that because everybody did it. Everybody is like moisturizing and like I, trying to look their best. I, really? Yeah. Well, well I, I'm putting something together that's a little racist here. I think that black people are more moisturizing people. Yeah, well, they, they grease up. About that, about white people need to start using lotion. Because it'll it'll do wonders for your skin. I I, right. I I I I I would you know there's no privacy. So without staring, you become very aware of your neighbors' daily rituals and like like what they put on themselves and what they do and I'm laughing how at your clean. Guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm about to talk about him. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> fucking Greg Milton, Gregory Milton, <laughs> my, my the guy the guy I bumped with. This this fifty something year old black fella who's got a huge bald spot on top and and it's like bald here too. He's rubbing this shit in his hair. He's got three goddamn jars of it. It's called like Fresh Grow Organic Scalp and Hair Treatment or something like that. And I look got a good look at it one day, and it looks like a clear gel with bits of plant matter in it. And he'd get himself a big goop of this shit and lather up, and he'd start rubbing it into his scalp and his hair. And it would wake me from my sleep. The clear gel no shit. It's like a chia pet baldness cure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's trying he to looks, grow his hair back. Doing his <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's trying to grow his hair back. Prison took everything from him, but oh, it right. didn't take his ability to yeah. grow back. All oh, right, silly. Greasing my bald head up. Gonna we'll grow it back. Hell yeah. Super freak. Super freak. This Don't guy narrates this everything he does. He narrates his whole life. And <laughs> how mine. Did, and mine. How did it smell? How did, it must have smelled. It smelled terrible. like the big fat. Uh, permanent markers that you can get high off of mixed with kerosene. Hell yeah. Yep. It yep, was yep. a very chemically alcohol um, like like gasoline kind of smell. Very potent. It, it, I think he could have gotten high off of it. It, it. it was awful. And he'd put it on four or five times a day at least. Jesus <laughs> Oh my God. Because he worked oh. out twice a day and, uh, or in the, and, and sometimes three times a day and he was always just like Coming back in to like wash up and put more on. Thank God he showered well because he stunk. He ate a lot, so he 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 was maintaining. The like, country uh, strong, maybe. The, yeah, you know, strong. and he's he's in his he's in his fifties, so like you know, he, he looked fun. He looked pretty good for being his fifties. Yeah, dad bod, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Like like kind of a big chest, you know, like like a muscular chest, but a little bit of a belly at the same time, and like like you know, big shoulders. Not overweight, but not ripped or anything. He ate a lot, like always the most, eating. The most important question here: Did did his hair grow when you were no, in? No, oh. if anything, he was losing it. He was. Oh. <laughs> was I, I got a, I got a perfect catalog. angle. I'm up above him in the top bunk, looking down at this back of this guy's head. Can he? He would just get up at night and stand there staring at his locker sometimes for like 10 minutes. And I'd just be like, <laughs> yeah, what was he doing? Here I am staring at my locker. <laughs> just staring at me. You know? <laughs> Can't go to sleep. Can't get away. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Staring Glass at my locker thinking joke. about my cute white cellmate. <laughs> 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 I want to know about the commissary shit. Like, like obviously, it seems like most of it was like small time, just amenities. Like, I need toothpaste, I need a toothbrush, I need Max. Was there any like really big dick stuff that if <laughs> people were walking item. back from there, they're like, he got a George Foreman grill? 
<laughs> Son of a bitch. Like any, yeah. any kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Um, sunglasses were 55 bucks. I had me a pair right away. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking men in black style. Fucking, Cause I, I don't go out in real life without sunglasses. Like I always wear sunglasses. And that was a big problem for me when I first got there. Cause I couldn't get the sunglasses right away because of the spending limit. Uh, I just didn't have enough money to get food, clothes, and sunglasses, so I had to wait a week to, to be able to get them. And my eyes were so goddamn bloodshot that the nurse tried to have me piss tested because my eyes looked like I was on drugs. And uh, but the guard, I explained myself to the guard, and he was like, "Oh, all right, well, get get out of here then. You're not on drugs." I'm like, "Yeah, can you tell? If I was on drugs, I'd really be enjoying it, though. I, you know, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't be this upset if I were on drugs. I'd love some drugs, I, yeah. but, but I'm not. I'm not on any drugs." Did you partially get the glasses just to rank up your RPG character to make yourself look a little more senior in there? No, I thought they made me look goofy because they were those lame like Nike sports sunglasses. I I, I, I wore them for, for like what sun if, protection. I pictured like Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Like, am I off? Yeah, That's I would have loved Ray-Ban Wayfarers. That's what I wear in real That's life. That's what I choose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was no, the most were, expensive thing you could get at the commissary? I think it may have been the the MP3 player. Um, the MP3 player was probably close to a hundred dollars and the radio was like $70 and I got a good pair of headphones. I think the brand is core K O R R and they were like $30 or something like that. So your headset and radio of choice would be around a hundred to $120. So they would get stolen occasionally. Uh, people yeah. would steal them. And, uh, so I, mean, I kept so like, how'd you get music on it? Like, you know? Yeah, you go over the computer and you download whatever you want, like gangster oh, really? rap or whatever. Yeah, uh, I, I was oh, I used Spotify a radio. Or... How does it? I didn't like... get into that because I used a radio. I you know I didn't care oh. to like. How does uh, it you know, get I just... stolen? Like I, in my head, I take what do you yours. Mean, how does it get stolen? Let me explain. I, I take Kyle's stuff. Well, there's Kyle's shit sitting by my bed. Like like if I'm gonna Your steal from like someone. A... Well, it's not like you get different brands or colors, and you All can't distinguish it. You can't like take a sharpie to it or a scratch scratch. That'd be smart to do, but this well, guy also... hasn't done that. Also, though, like if you left, let's, for example, let's say you left your MP3 player like on your bed. Could somebody else get into your cell while you were gone? Oh, yeah. There's no cells. Th these are these are bedrooms separated by block walls that don't go to the ceiling. Like you just oh. walk right in. There's no door to your cell at all. Got it. Got so, it. Like, so, so you lock your fucking locker. I locked my locker up. 